Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about a mace hand slide. This is a concept in mace hand grip dexterity, which sometimes gets skipped over. What we are gonna focus on is holding our mace at the midpoint, the middle of the middle of the mace, and going all the way down to the bottom. This is important because it allows us to have a straight arm when doing different types of mills and side swings. The side swing is a movement in mace and heavy club, which separates it from other type of athletic training. It separates it from barbell, it separates it from dumbbell. It can be done with kettlebell, but in the beginning, it's harder for people to learn this with kettlebells. We are gonna do our outside circle. Mace points straight ahead, externally rotate the arm, push, swing, pull, catch, come back to center. If we were to have our hand at the bottom of the mace, then people will have to do things like bend their elbow and hike their shoulder in order to accomplish the task. People who have extremely healthy joints will be able to pull that off. If you are newer to training or if you have a history of elbow pain or shoulder pain, then we do not want you doing the hike version of this reverse mill. We would like you to work on this hand transition hand at the bottom of the mace, drop and re-catch at the middle of the middle. Do your outside circle, on the pull, slide your hand from the middle of the middle back to the bottom of the mace so you can do the best possible version of your outside mill. Long lever, lightweight, more torque. Push your hand all the way out to the side, drop to the middle of the middle, outside circle, slide your hand up, catch outside mill, press, drop, catch, outside, slide your hand, catch, press, drop, outside, catch. You need to be very good at your reverse mill before you try doing something like this, but it is important. People who have had elbow or shoulder injuries want to have their elbow in full traction. That means straight elbow joint. Oftentimes when people do a long grip, they're in danger of A, either crushing their toes, which is extraordinarily bad because it's gross. This thing will pop your toes like grapes. Not good, it's not pretty. People who have a history of elbow pain or shoulder pain will be exacerbating their condition if they try to do this swing with bent elbows. It's not that it's not possible, it's that it's very hard to go up in weight with that technique and not hurt yourself. You can do it. You can do it if you have a lot of training. Everybody else should work on the straight arm version of this exercise. The problem with using the mill with the middle of the middle is people will clock themselves with the handle part that's sticking out. Not so much on the outside, which moves it away from your head, but they will definitely do it on the inside because they will be rotating the handle directly past their head. <sighs> right there. So they need to either learn to get out of the way, which people can forget to do as they get tired, or they can transition, do the mill top, <sighs> push, drop, and convert. Figuring out how to move your hand on the mace is an athletic skill all on its own, and you should practice it to make sure that you are keeping your elbow and your shoulder health optimal. The great thing about maces and clubs is you can do whatever you want, but certain ideas work better for advanced athletes. Hiking your elbow up requires you to know how to decompress your elbow later on, or you will cause yourself trouble. The hand slide is the easiest way to get the most out of the weights you already possess in the least amount of time.